I'm Vanessa, one of the contributing editors at Book Riot, and I'm going to keep the audiobook month theme rolling, just like I've said I would do in the last two videos since June is audiobook month. And today's video is going to focus on Spanish audiobooks. Now I have done a video in the past on how to use Spanish audiobooks to further deepen, help your practice of like learning the Spanish language. That's not what this video is. Um, if you would like to reference that video, which I think of is you know pretty snazzy, <laughs> I'll make sure to link that below. But while that video focused on certain types of Spanish audiobooks that you could use again to just like better your practice, your comprehension, to like hear it spoken aloud. This one's just going to be about cool audiobooks that I think would definitely help with that, but really should just be enjoyable and, you know, fun. Now the inspiration behind this post was that both in my research for that video that I just mentioned, other projects, and for this video, I have felt like searching for Spanish audiobooks has been largely an exercise in futility. There does seem to be a lot of mention of, you know, instructional type of audiobooks like the ones that I mentioned in my video, stuff like, you know, how to learn Spanish 101 sort of stuff to help you with, again, your language practice, or recommendations on classics that have been recorded in audio. All of that is great stuff, but the classics have you know, been around there, the classics, and while it is definitely super great to find those recorded in the Spanish language, I don't seem to run across a lot of content that's just about like current, recent, upcoming, buzzy Spanish audiobooks, and that's a bummer. That's starting to change a little bit with the introduction of like Audible's dedicated Spanish language uh, platform, which is I think Audible Latino or Audible en Español. I think it's Audible Latino. Libro FM has Spanish audiobooks, audiobooks.com is a way to search for Spanish audiobooks, and those landing pages do have a decent amount of content on like bestsellers and um, you know trending stuff, but just nothing in comparison to the other types of bookish content that you find out in the world with respect to audiobooks. So I thought I would talk about just a few of the listens that I have listened to either in whole or in part that I think are just flat out entertaining and interesting <laughs> for a variety of reasons. You could definitely use them again to help with your Spanish language practice, but really the focus is more on just entertainment. My first pick is one that I've talked about a lot, don't get mad, <laughs> but it's, I love it. Um, it's Like Water for Chocolate by Laura Esquivel, otherwise known as Como Agua para Chocolate. It is the first book that I read completely in Spanish that was not like a children's book. I, the first novel, I should say, like full flight length adult novel that I read in Spanish. Um, it's about a uh, young woman who is the youngest daughter in her family. Her mom is kind of a tyrannical figure and because Tita is the youngest in her family, her lot in life is to like take care of her mother for the rest of her life and remain unwed. So of course she falls in love with somebody. Um, that guy tries to marry her. The mother is like, yeah, no. And so he figures the next best way to stay in Tita's life is to bury her sister. What could go wrong? Um, it's set against the backdrop of the Revolutionary War in Mexico, and it's a story that is full of magical realism and food, because Tita is this fantastic cook who injects all of the emotions that she feels into the dishes that she prepares, and then in turn, those emotions you know, seep into the people that she's feeding. It's narrated in Spanish by Gareli Arismendi, who is in the film adaptation of the book. She plays Tita's sister Rosaura, and her Spanish is flawless. It's you know her native language. She just has really excellent, excellent delivery. It was great to have some familiarity with her voice. Um, she just does such a fantastic job. Like she really made me feel, and you know that's a big thing for me with fiction. Is like make me feel, like get deep with the narration, and she does an excellent job. Second selection is Wonder by R.J. Palacios, known in Spanish as La Lección de August Wonder. It is narrated by Daniel Vargas and Viviana Sierra, and I don't know much about either of the two except that Daniel has narrated works by, I think, John Scalzi, <laughs> Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and I think Paulo Coelho. Um, side note, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right because everyone gives me conflicting information. And these are like actual Brazilians. I've had like six different people that I've consulted. Some say Coelho, some say Coelho. I don't know which one it is. I'm not trying to butcher it. But back to the book. Um, it is narrated again by these two people. Daniel Vargas is the one who I've heard most of because I haven't done the whole book in audio all the way through. But Daniel's voice is so 
it's just perfectly pitched to be to told from the perspective of this young boy uh, who for those of you who don't know the book is about a young boy who was born with a facial deformity that has kept him in homeschool um, due to you know obviously lots of reasons to do with his face like the the shame behind it or the embarrassment and yet it just does such a beautiful job of narrating the way a small boy would I think it can be tricky sometimes to narrate children's voices without sounding a little bit comic <laughs> or like a little too La, la, la. you know he he does a great job it's like it sounds childlike but it doesn't it's not like pandering i think this also side note might be a good one to use if you are trying to listen to spanish audiobooks for the language purpose because the plot and language are basic enough that you won't get too tripped up if you're not at an advanced comprehension level yet for my third title i selfishly <laughs> wanted to see if anything by agatha christie was available in spanish audiobook form and it is so yay i went with the murder on the orient express or murder on the orient express um, by agatha christie which in spanish is known as el asesinato in el orient express it as you know is the story of well pargo is the uh, detective and he's on this orient express and he has to solve murder because someone's killed on the plane on the plane on the train uh and the whodunit to proves to be an interesting case to unravel since it's kind of a locked room like we're stuck on a train that's broken down you know in the middle of of nowhere situation it's narrated by juan miguel diez his spanish sounds spanish maybe if there's this beautiful cadence to it it's not like it doesn't sound like mexican spanish not that mexican spanish ain't cool because it is but there's something kind of comforting when i'm reading like a cozy mystery or anything set in england about hearing it narrated in an english accent and really the english accent for better or worse tends to be the default when we're telling any story you know set in the days of yore <laughs> and while that can be problematic there is also for me something kind of pleasing about it depending on the book that it's set in I feel like what this narrator did accomplish that same thing in Spanish. Like his voice has a certain, like it's baritone, it's a little bit regal sounding, it's it's a little bit more on the formal side than what like the Spanish I speak conversationally. Um, and that's in part, I imagine, just due to the way the book is written, because it's you know written by Agatha Christie. But oh, I loved the delivery. And even though I completely know what's going on in the story, it had me like grit. Like even though I completely know the ending, I was very much like, okay, like I'm in. I, I love the way this guy speaks. <laughs> it's just a really pleasant audio experience. My fourth pick is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, known in Spanish as La Luz Que No Puedes Ver. Woo. <laughs> this one is narrated by a gentleman named Miguel Angel Jenner. Oh, it's it's spelled like Jenner. I don't know if it's Jenner or Jenner, but we're going with Jenner. Uh, and it is the World War II story. For those of you who haven't read this one, it seems like everyone has. Um, it's a little, a blind French girl and a German boy whose stories intersect. Their paths eventually cross in this like World War II drama. It's a page turner. It's a little bit emo. It's just like such a lovely story. It's, it's very well beloved. It's one of my favorite like World War II books that I've read in a long time. And the narrator has recorded the work of Edgar Allan Poe and like Steg Larsson. So he clearly has the ability to like build suspense <laughs> and to keep you, you know, on the edge of your seat with his narration. It's just so, so well done. I haven't listened to this one in its entirety, but what I have heard so far, I've been very, very pleased by. I feel like he it does a great job of again, conveying that like suspense and like making you want to keep listening to it, maybe even go a little faster, except I like to listen to this one on flat out 1.0 speed because speeding suspense up sometimes for me kind of kills the vibe. So that's just my take from Vanessa's audiobook corner. And last are the Harry Potter books. <laughs> so the, these have only been made available in Spanish in like the last few months. I talked about it in the audiobooks newsletter when the news went live. And the first one is obviously um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's or Sorcerer's Stone, depending on where you are. Or in Spanish, Harry Potter or Harry Potter y la Piedra Filosofal. These are narrated by a guy named Carlos Ponce. I'm just going to warn you right now that I'm about to fangirl a little bit because <laughs> Carlos Ponce is the Cupid? No, I think he's Puerto Rican. Uh, actor, singer, songwriter. He was in the television show Cristela that was canceled a few years back featuring Cristela Alonso, which is a bummer because I really liked that show. Um, he's been, I think, in telenovelas and maybe even some American soap operas. He's also the like hot yoga teacher in the movie Couples Retreat. <laughs> I'll pop a little photo for you right there in case you need a reminder. But um, I had a giant crush on this dude growing up. He was also a singer and he had an, uh, he made me more than one album, but there's one that I really remember playing like the crap out of. I completely understand why they had him narrate these books because he does have this like gorgeous baritone, very like smooth, silky voice. 
it's the kind of like stereotypical like oh speaking in Spanish makes everything romantic but the dude could be talking to me about cucarachas and mayonnaise and be like si si dimelo por favor like it's just a beautiful voice it's it's so so great I highly highly approve of this audiobook narrator choice um I'm gonna go back and listen to them all just because I mean I do speak very fluent Spanish but again I speak like very basic informal conversational Spanish and it might be nice to brush up on some of the fancier bits. Those are my audiobook selections for you. Please let me know if you've got more suggestions for just fun audiobooks that you've loved to listen to. I'm hoping we get to see more and more of this kind of content as audiobooks as a market continue to grow and definitely as the Spanish language market increases as well. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.